But one thing to note is that all of these things uh, still have to eventually get, for, for financial buyers, still have to get to a positive EBITDA return. So even a forward-looking ARR multiple, they have to be able to project that they're able to get the earnings uh, in the future. It's a promise of earnings in the future if you have low net profits and growing ARR because you're investing in R&D, you're investing in sales and marketing, and the recurring nature of your business will mean that that will um, that shift to profitability and, and growing the profitability is ahead. And so even forward-looking ARR multiples are somewhat derived off of the idea that net profit and cash flow and profitability of the business is in the is in the future. So again, really long winded way. I'm trying to like synthesize but, this. But to be honest, John, that's great because it, the challenge you have a yeah. lot in our industry is that numbers get thrown around, like you know, multiples of ARR. People want it to be a simple answer, right? You know, and the reality is, is what you're saying is it is it's no, it's it, this is a lot of subtleties there, depending on not only what you know the performance of the business as well, but the willingness of the buyer to in terms of the valuation as well so it's not a simple it's not a simple sure. way of calculating this as though we'd love it to be it really isn't like that can't be like you're right and i think that's what's really challenging is everybody has an anecdote a story of somebody who sold their business for a really high multiple and a really low multiple you know and i think that it's easy to fixate on just the multiple itself instead of what were the deal terms how was what was your motivation for selling who else was on the on the cap table and and the preference stack that was driving this decision? The, those are the more important questions I think to dig into as somebody who's considering a sale because you have to really think about what am I walking away with? Why am I walking away? What are my options at that point in time? And what does the future really look like for me? Am I going to stay on with this business for the next two three years and have to you know reach in my earnout? Is that a part of what, what I'm willing to do? If so, then you can probably expect a higher multiple because you are reducing risk for uh, the buyer. So lots of variables at play. I just you know gave you some high level numbers in terms of what you might expect to see. 